means we are going to learn the last five uppercase letters. So go ahead and grab your tools for success. You're going to need your notebook paper and something to write with. Okay. So the first letter we're going to learn is going to be the uppercase letter U. So let's go ahead and make our brackets. Let's have our top line, our middle line, and our bottom line, okay? All right, so we are going to begin at the top line. We're gonna touch here, touch the top. We're going to kind of make like a vertical line down, but then it's gonna start to curve. Down at the bottom, it's gonna curve around, and then it's gonna curve back up in a vertical line toward the top, and that is the uppercase U. Let's try that again. Maybe it won't be so blurry this time, okay? So we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna go down like a vertical line. Then we're gonna start to curve when we get to the bottom line. And then we're gonna curve right back up and create another uh, vertical line upward toward the top line. And we have the uppercase letter U. And when I think about the uppercase letter U, I think about an umbrella. And the beginning of the word umbrella makes the uh sound, okay? So now let's try again. And this time when we write the letter, let's make the short U sound. Ready? Uh. Uh. Uh, nice job. All right, so now it is your turn. Your challenge is to write the uppercase letter U five times, okay, my friends? All right, and when you're saying it, make sure you make that short U sound like uh, an umbrella. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next letter. Make your bracket with your top line, middle line, and baseline. And let's learn the uppercase letter J. Okay, so imagine, or remember that imaginary rectangle, okay? Imagine that imaginary rectangle. And I want you to move to the middle of that rectangle, all right? And in the middle of that rectangle, so we're gonna move over just once, we're gonna touch the top line, and we're gonna make that vertical line down. And just like we did on the U, we're gonna start to curve as we get to the bottom. And then we're gonna curve back up and we're gonna touch that uh, middle line. Now, some people, when they make the letter J, um, sometimes they make it just like this and they don't put a top on it. I like the top, across the top. So we go, are gonna go to the top line and we're gonna draw that line across because to me, this is a true letter J. Okay, uppercase letter J, all right? But you can see it written without the top on, on the top, just like this, still letter J. Okay, so when you think about the letter J, I want you to think about a jar, a jar like that might have pennies in it, okay? So a jar uh, begins with the J sound, okay? All right, so let's make the J sound like in jar as we write the letter J. Here we go, ready? J, 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 J. All right, now it's your turn. Go ahead and get your pencil ready. Write the letter J and make the J sound like in jar five times. Push pause on the video. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna go ahead and draw our brackets with our top line, our middle line, and our bottom line. And this time, we're gonna learn how to write the capital letter I. And the capital letter I is pretty special because it is also a noun. It represents you like when you write, like I love ice cream, for example. So the capital letter I is really important. So we need to know how to make the capital letter I so we can write stories about ourselves, okay? So again, I want you to imagine that imaginary um, box. I want you to move over one, get your pencil ready. And we're gonna draw a vertical line straight down to the bottom line. Pick your pencil up, okay? And then we're gonna go to the top line and we're going to draw a horizontal line across 
And then we're gonna get to the bottom line and we're gonna draw a horizontal line across. And now we have the uppercase letter I that we can use in our writing. Um, we're always gonna capitalize that. So I want you to think, when you think about the capital letter I, I want you to think about an igloo. An igloo is a place um, that is that is a home that is made out of ice that Eskimos can live in. Um, and it's, they're pretty cool. So when I say igloo, it begins with the I sound, I. Sometimes I like to touch my nose and and like squeeze my nose a little bit, like like something's icky. And I say I, 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 and I can move my head back and forth when I make that I sound. And I, that sound that we hear, that's the short sound for I. So it's that short vowel sound, okay? So let's make the I sound like an igloo and let's write the capital letter I. Here we go, my friends. I, I, I. Try it again. I, I, I. Nice job, my friends. All right, so here's your challenge. Write the capital letter I and make its short vowel sound five times. Push pause on the video to practice. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next part. Make your bracket with our top line, our middle line, and our bottom line. Now we're gonna learn about how to write the uppercase letter T. All right, so we're gonna kind of start off the exact same way that we did here with the uppercase letter I. So again, imagine that imaginary rectangle. You're gonna move over one, so you're in the middle. You're gonna create that vertical line down to the bottom line, from the top line to the bottom line. And then you're gonna pick that pencil up. You're gonna to go to the top line and you're gonna write that horizontal line across. And that, my friends, is a capital letter T. You're gonna notice it looks a lot like the capital letter I, except this time we didn't draw that bottom horizontal line. Capital letter T, how simple is that? So what we're gonna do is I want you to think about a turtle. Everybody say turtle. That's right. I hear the t, t, t sound at the top. And what I want you to picture in your head is I want you to picture a clock. And a clock, um, like a grandfather clock, like they used to have at my grandpa's house, it used to have this long um, kind of like stick that would hang at the bottom of the clock and it would move back and forth and it would look like this. So what I want you to do with your finger is I want you to get your finger and I want you to go like this. T -t 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 -t. So you can practice the sound, okay? So that is the sound that we are going to make as we write the capital letter T. So let's get ready. So this time we're not gonna use our fingers to make the sound, we're gonna use our pencil. Ready, here we go. Start at that top line. Let's make the sound for T. T Good job. Now pick your pencil up, go back to the top. Let's try it again. Ready? T, 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 t. Oh my gosh, we sound like a bunch of clocks. I love it. All right, my friends, I want you to go ahead and see, can you write the uppercase letter T five times and make the sound? Push pause on the video so you can practice. All right, the last letter we are gonna learn how to make is my favorite. And the reason why it's my favorite is because my first name begins with this letter, so I love it. And the other reason why I like this letter so much is that it's real curvy. This is probably one of the toughest letters to write, so it might take you a couple of times to practice, okay? So again, I want you to think of that imaginary um, rectangle. And to help us this time, I'm going to draw it on the page because this letter is a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna make that imaginary rectangle. Now I know you can see mine there, but we're gonna pretend that it's not there, that it's imaginary. And remember, here's our start line. We're gonna move over one, and we're gonna move over again. So we're gonna kind of start over here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a little bit below um, the top line and we're gonna curve up, we're gonna touch that top line, and then we're gonna curve around, touch that middle line, then we're gonna curve it back, and then we're gonna curve around again. 
There you go. And there's the capital letter S. Mine is like so wide right now. Every time I draw, draw the box, it I feel like it like stretches out. So I'm going to try it again. Ready? Watch this time. This one, I promise, will be skinnier. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you're going to start here in between that um, middle line and that top line. We're going to curve up to the top. We're going to curve back down. We're going to touch that middle line. We're going to curve around again. We're going to touch that bottom line and we're going to curve up. That is a much better S. This S had too many potato chips. This S just right. All right, my friends. So this time I want you to think about something that begins with the letter S. Oh, I've got something. The word sock. Everybody say sock. That's right. Sock begins with the S sound. And this time I want you to take your hand I want you to take your hand and I want you to make the s sound. So it's like a snake. Can you make your hand move like a snake? S Good job. All right. So that is the sound we're going to make as we write the capital letter S. Here we go, my friends. Ready? S and I even like the letter S because it kind of reminds me of a snake shape, right? Here we go. S nice job. All right, so here's your challenge. I want you to write the letter S and make the sound for S like S in sock five times. And then guess what? You have mastered all of the uppercase letters of the alphabet. Congratulations.